hey guys welcome back to another video now i was reading the most recent chapter of blue lock and it really got me thinking about how isagi even got to this point and yeah i know he's the main character but one of the things i kept thinking about were his abilities but more specifically his ability to adapt and to change in almost every situation that he's been put in and we can see this in almost every process that isagi's been put in you know we can see this from the start you know during the tag football elimination right at the beginning of blue lock Isagi's put into a situation where he might be eliminated from blue lock as soon as he just got there and it's in that moment that Isagi has to change becoming an egoist in that moment and adapting to his environment which would lead to him eliminating kira but also during the first selection process when Isagi's team is faced up against nico's team Isagi is able to realize that all the plays started from nico and from there he would adapt to the situation he realized that Nico is not the type of player to shoot and if Isagi was to stay near to Okawa, there's a high chance that he can intercept the ball from Okawa and you know obviously Isagi would be right and he would intercept Nico's pass to Okawa and it would result in Isagi's team winning the game. But if we even move on further to the second selection process when Baro, Isagi and Nagi are against Chigri, Ryo and Kunigami, we can see that Isagi again adapts to Baro's playstyle. At the time, you know, Baro was a selfish player and he wouldn't pass to any of his teammates. So Isagi had to adapt to this type of playstyle. And Isagi would do this by not passing to Baro, obviously, but also using Baro as a decoy. He would stay in Baro's blind spot while waiting for Nagi to pass to him. And then when Nagi would pass to him, Isagi would score. Again, during the second selection process, when Isagi was able to score his back heel shot against Rin. Isagi knows that Rin can see through all of Isagi's passing options. And so, Isagi would pass the ball to Chigiri and everyone would expect Chigiri to cross the ball into the box but Isagi would make a diagonal run towards Chigiri to try and throw off Rin but then Rin would notice this and as the ball was coming to Isagi, Rin would try and shut him down and it's in that moment we have to see Isagi adapt as he knows he can't use his direct shot in that situation so he would let the ball run through his legs and then back heel the ball into the goal but then again if we move on to the third selection process and for me this is when i started to notice asagi's adapting ability because during the third selection process isagi was matched up against karasu and that's because karasu was able to identify isagi as the weakest link on the team but the match would progress and isagi would quickly adapt to karasu's playstyle karasu would use his hands to put his opponents off balance and shielding the ball away from them Isagi would dodge Karasu's hands while linking up with Nanase because they were able to read each other's movements and this would result in a goal coming from Shidu. If we even move on to the Neo Egoist League, the match where Isagi gets Metavision, Isagi watches Kaiser and realizes that Kaiser is able to see everything on the field and that's what allows him to get into the position to score. Isagi realizes that he's done it before but only at times when he was able to score goals in blue lock and it's in that moment we'd get to see Isagi use metavision for the first time but Isagi would question that if he could keep it up because using metavision for 90 minutes is pretty draining as you can see at the end of that match Isagi just collapsed because using metavision is exhausting but then if we go to another match in the Neo Egoist League the Bassard Munchen versus Ubers match Isagi's left foot shot goal. Corona would pass the ball to Isagi and as Isagi's gonna shoot with his right foot, Isagi's knocked off balance by Ness. Ness basically tries to stop Isagi from scoring but then Isagi would quickly adapt in that situation and shoot with his left and it would shock everyone. Obviously before that game Isagi would be training his left foot shot with Kunigami we didn't get to see it but it's implied but it just goes to show how damn near Isagi is able to adapt in almost every situation he's been put in so far and that really just made me think that now that we are in the most recent chapter of Blue Lock what can we expect from Isagi what is next okay he has meta vision okay what is next what other what other ability can we see come from Isagi if you up to this point we have seen Isagi evolve adapt and change it's like every match he plays, Isagi just gets better and better and better and better. And I just know this match, with him playing with all these beasts, all these monsters of players, is going to bring something out of him. And obviously, it's Isagi, so he's going to find a way to shine in this match. The reason why I'm making this video is because, like, I feel like people only like to mention MetaVision when they talk about Isagi and not how this guy is basically able to adapt to every situation he's been put in. And for me, I think that's his best ability. And although MetaVision is one of his best abilities, I think without him being able to adapt, 
Isagi doesn't get MetaVision because before MetaVision, Isagi's been adapting, been adapting to his opponent's playstyles, been adapting to his teammates' playstyles, and just been adapting to the whole game in general. Isagi's been changing, improving, and getting better while he's been at Blue Lock. But yeah, I just thought I'd make that video real quick because um because I was live streaming and in the chat we talk about Blue Lock quite a bit. Uh, we talk about other anime too, but quite a bit, and it just made me realize that holy shit, like Isagi has MetaVision, but he's been adapting like from the start and so yeah that just made me realize like what else can come from this match so yeah i thought i'd make that video real quick if you are watching please like comment and subscribe also let me know what other type of videos you would like to see and i'll see you in the next one good